So in today's video, we're going to be looking at a problem that you may be having with your Adobe Premiere. Now, the problem I'm talking about is large render file sizes. If you've noticed that your hard drive is getting filled up quick with your Adobe Premiere projects, this may be the solution for you. So if you go into your project folder, so we're just looking at the video that was last put up on the channel. So in the video files, you'll see like the folder where you put your project in that you'll see Adobe creates a few different folders is obviously the project file, some audio previews, some art saves and some video previews. And this is where basically when you render a sequence, this is where that file is generated. So if we look at the Adobe Premiere Pro previews folder, just look at the info on that. We're going to see that is 19.81 gigabyte. Now this video is about one minute, 11 seconds long. That there's no way that should be that big. And you just, all you're going to do is eat up your hard drive and potentially over time degrade your hard drive. Obviously in this particular computer, it's an SSD. You know, it's not going to do it overnight, but you know, over time there may be effects. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can change that and get your rendering times a lot down from 19 gig or nearly 20 gig to about half. Another thing I just wanted to show before we do the um, sequence adjustments is I've got two exports here, the one with the large render ex the large rendering done beforehand and the other one without the large rendering. And you can see there is no difference in the file size. So you can see the both 46.3 gigabytes not gigabytes megabytes so what we do is we're going to go into premiere pro you're going to open up your project and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on part of the sequence on the timeline and once you're at the sequence you're going to want to go up to the top look for sequence now we're going to click on sequence settings and in sequence settings we're going to go all the way down to video previews because that is the name of this file here the video previews file that is causing us the problem so in this, I don't know how this happened because I wasn't personally suffering this problem to just recently and I realized, huh, my hard drive's full. <laughs> so yeah, the thing, problem is somehow this changed here where you, in video preview, you see preview file format, it's on QuickTime. Now to, re to considerably reduce the file size, you want to click that drop down and you want to click iframe only MPEG. So once we've done that, we're going to click OK. And what it's going to ask you here is it's going to change the preview file format size, which basically means all the other files get deleted and it's going to change it again. So we click yes. As you notice now, we've got the yellow um, line on our timeline. That basically just means now the sequence is unrendered. So we're going to go to sequence and we're just going to click render into out. And what we're going to see now is we just click the drop down on render details. And you're going to see here we've got 119.48 gigabytes free. And you're going to see if you, you're going to see that it's not really dropping that much. We've gone down about 300, 400 meg. Now, if this was the other way, you'd be eating gigabytes up per seconds because, it, like, you know, rendering like a minute or so of video footage should not be that big. It shouldn't take up all that room. And you can see we're not really eating that much space at the moment. We're still got all our space free we'll just let this render speed this up right so now the rendering is fully complete we'll just open up the finder again back into this file as you can see there is our video previews all we want to do is click get info and as you can now see that is dramatically smaller than before it's 502.9 megabytes compared to 19.81 gigabytes, which is considerably a saving. And all you need to do is you that is just save it. And that's everything. That's basically how I've solved my problem. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.